Hey everyone, Alexi here from Exile. In this video, I'm gonna take you through chain of title for film, what it is, why it's important, and why you need to make sure that you have chain of title when financing and distributing your films. Let's start with a simple definition of chain of title. Chain of titles is a series of documents that proves the legal ownership in a film. So a simple way to think about chain of title is, uh, as the name suggests, like a chain, right? So it's showing how ownership of copyright has moved from one party to the other. So A sells to B, B sells to C, C sells to D, and so on. So why is it so important? Well, you need chain of title in order to raise finance for a film and you need it in order to attach distributors to your film. Because in the case of financing, if you're bringing on a financier, a third party financier, so a company that might be providing a loan to you, a gap loan or a loan against a tax incentive, they're gonna to wanna to know that the producer and the production company have chain of title. When it comes to distribution, the distributors want to know that the producer has chain of title because everyone wants to make sure that they're dealing with the right person and that person actually has the legal right to do what they're saying that they want to do. So how do you get chain of title? Well, you get chain of title by entering into agreements with all of the relevant copyright hold holders. So who are the relevant copyright holders? Well, it's everyone who is creatively involved with making the film. So when we're approaching chain of title at the financing stage, everyone creatively involved at that time is usually everyone to do with the screenplay because at that point, pre-production hasn't started, production hasn't started. So the majority of the creative work has been really around developing the screenplay. So you're likely going to have two scenarios. Either there's an original screenplay written by a writer in which case the producer would need some sort of agreement uh, that would assign the rights to that screenplay to the producer. And in the case of an underlying work, so where there's a book, a play, uh, another screenplay, an article, a podcast, anything like that where there's existing IP involved and then that IP has been developed into a screenplay, the producer is going to have to have Again, an agreement with the screenwriter who's written the screenplay assigning those rights, but then also an agreement with the underlying rights holder that assigns the rights to the production company. And that usually comes in the form of an option agreement. So that's the financing stage. Now, when it comes to distribution, you know, at that point, the film has already been produced, it's been completed, it's been delivered. So at that point, there are many more relevant copyright holders and they include people like the cast, the crew, um, composers, really anyone that's involved in, again, the creative, creatively making or creatively contributing to the making of the film. Could include things like licensing as well, whether it's footage or music. So really any time that there's copyright that is being created, that is going to contribute to the making of that particular film, the producers need all those agreements in place. Now, you might be asking, well, is it absolutely necessary to have all those agreements in place to get a distribution deal or to attach a distributor? And the answer is yes. When you deliver to a distributor, not only are you delivering the film and all the technical require, uh, aspects of the film, but there's a whole list of legal deliverables that you need to provide to the distributor. And that includes all of those agreements. So they will want to know that the film is coming to them uh, in essentially in a, in a clean way. There's no documents, agreements that are missing and the producer has what's called or what's referred to as clean chain of title. 
So what I would suggest you do is that if you're in the early development stages of your project, then it's probably a good time to start thinking about, well, do I actually have the rights to produce this film? So you might be working with some friends, um, you might be working with a partner, a business partner, or a personal partner, and at that point you might not have actually entered into any agreements, but it's never too early to do so, and in my view, you should always start thinking about those types of agreements as early on in the process as possible. So you really want to approach it in this way. You know, approach the conversation around the business relationship or about disagreement. You know, how are you going to control the rights together? Then get an agreement drawn up. You know, have lawyers prepare the agreement, circulate it, negotiate it and sign it. Once those two are complete, that's the point where you should really be dedicating time and resources into the project. But before that time, I think it's important to have those conversations with your producing partners uh, or any writers that you're working with, really understand what the relationship's going to look like, get the agreement drawn up, get it in place. That way, everyone is comfortable and secure. And most importantly, at that point, you have chain of title, you can go out there, you can start trying to raise finance for your film.